In this distracted world, an act of silence is an act of rebellion. It's never been easier to fill our lives with distraction. Never been easier. To spend all of our time and accessible energy to involve ourselves in the effort to fill the void within ourselves with the created art of another person. To make ourselves whole through consumption. I think by now we all know that we can never really find it in this consumption, but many of us still resign ourselves to it. I've been in these video game communities for long enough. I know how it goes. We all joke around about wasting time. We wear wasting time as a proud banner. We take the insults of our enemies and make them our rallying cry. And I suppose as a way of feeling some sort of connection, it might be preferable to complete alienation, but I have always seen that as just purely sad. <sighs> I have been really struggling with having a life that is too darn full, too much stuff going on. I have been at a full sprint, just trying to juggle things, mostly good things that matter. And every single decision I made to focus on one thing or another, I could look back at and say, yeah, that was a pretty good decision. That gets me somewhere right that I want to be. But along the way, I've been losing touch with myself because I haven't been making the investments I need in simply being in cultivating the silence in my life that allows me to truly turn inwardly and integrate my feelings and thoughts in a way that is useful and gives me a lever on the world that hones myself as a weapon. I've talked many times about going for long walks. I'm not going to beat the topic like a dead horse. Using our bodies and not our minds frees our minds. We all know this, right? The key thing is to turn off the senses as much as we can tolerate. Yes, going for a walk in nature is a beautiful thing and a good thing. But how much more can we learn about ourselves by going for a long walk at night? when it's dark, when our eyes aren't full of other things and all we can see is ourselves. How much better, how much deeper can we delve into ourselves by not dialing up a podcast, by not putting on music while we do this, embracing the boredom, and witnessing the incredible creativity that emerges from it. I think for a lot of us, our only encounter with creativity is other people's creativity because it is so damned easy to spend our entire lives distracted. And you know the means by which we do this. You don't need me to tell you. But what you might need to hear is just how necessary it's become in this world to just be silent, to just stop, and to systematize the modes in our life that bring about these states. Some people go to meditation, some people do yoga, some people work out, some people go for walks, some people journal. For me, it's walking and journaling. You know what these things can be for you. And if you don't know, just try any of the things that I rattled off and just know that if you're new to this idea of looking inwardly by cultivating silence, just know that it's okay to take small steps that succeed. In this life, I think it's much better to take small successful steps than 
large, clumsy, failing steps. That is to say, aim at something that you can actually do. If you can't tolerate going for a walk without music or a podcast in your ears, then put music or a podcast in your ears. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to do what you are able to do. What do you think I've been doing for the last few years? Like, I've talked about this many times. Yes, I've loved video games for many years. I played them every single night, but I turned over and said, I'm going to stream every single night. Yeah, I like streaming. I like hanging out with you guys. That's still true, and I miss it. But the real thing is I was trying to stop binge eating at night. And I realized when the camera was on, I stopped eating. That was a step that I was willing to take in order to do something that really paid off. And if we can get ourselves into the habit of being out on walks, eventually we can let go of the, what's the word? Training wheels. Let go of the training wheels that get us there. And what I want to encourage us all to do is to take that act of rebellion to just stop. Don't find the time for quiet and contemplation. Make it. Let something else fall by the wayside. Cancel an event that you don't really need to go to. Let something be turned in late at work. What I have found is that the moment I allow things to go suboptimally so that I can make time for quiet, everything actually becomes more optimized because I'm able to be more present in my work, in my play. I'm a better version of myself as a result of this work. It's an investment in the self. I say hone the weapon, and that's what it feels like. Silence, quiet, reflection, integration. Challenge yourself, as I challenge myself, to embrace these things and to prefer them over especially distraction, but even things that are important to get done today that we think are important, but might actually be less important and doing the things that make us feel like ourselves and help us come along on our own path, develop our inner wisdom, and contend with the honest to God truth that life is hard. And we all suffer in some way. Silence reflects a Willingness to contend with that suffering. Showing up to the arena of suffering. I'm here for whatever happens. Come out the other side, whether it's victorious or bloody, we'll have learned. I've spent many a long night on my feet, often in tears, learning about myself. And brought me to some really surprising places. I didn't expect this thought to come out so thunderously. <laughs> um, but there it is. I bring it to you as a tender gift from my heart to yours. It's okay to take the smallest step. So take it. After I turn this webcam off, that's what I'm going to do. Take myself for a walk. What I'll find on it, I can only imagine, but I can't wait to find out. And until I see you again, please take good care of yourself. Be good to each other. Remember, you're not alone. And don't forget also about my coaching service. I mentioned this a couple weeks ago. Reconnect Coaching. Reconnect-coaching.com. 
a life coaching service for anyone who's stuck in life, and especially anyone who's stuck in the world of video games, food addiction, who's been places that I've been, and is looking for someone to jump into the hole with you and start digging out step by step. I'm there for you. Hit me up, really. Reconnect-coaching.com. That's all I got. Till I see you again. Take care, friend.